Hey, what's up, guys? This is Warded Geek. This is the next part of my Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness walkthrough. Let's continue taking out the Hexagon Brothers. First off, I'm going to be battling Blue Six. Uh, just because I like kind of going in order, but I don't even know if this is in order, really. Anyway, Blue Six uses water types. He has a Horsey, a Goldeen, and a Shadow Sphiel. This, uh, the Shadow Sphiel is also part Ice type, so if you want to get an Ice type as well, and he, he didn't choose a Vaporeon, uh, it's pretty it's pretty good in the long run um, but yeah so and your any electric or grass types you might have um, are really useful in this fight especially the uh, Mareep that you could have gotten from yellow six or a Jolteon if you had if you got that instead of a uh, Vaporeon anyway here comes the shadow feel What's the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Wait, what? what's this level? And it like 17? It's over 17! And there goes Horsey. It's over 17! Uh, Thunder Wave it, and uh... I kind of want to see if it has water absorb. I don't even know. Wait, it has thick fat and ice or ice body. Is okay. Derp. Whatever. Well, there's Shadow Wave. It hits both of you, your Pokemon, and if neither of them are Shadow Pokemon, it's going to be super effective. Do 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 do. Jeez, I love Mareep's run. Or, well, not Mareep, Flaff Flaffy's run. Sand Attack! That's the first time I used it with Vaporeon in this walkthrough. It's paralyzed. Um, you use Water Pulse and use Poke Ball. Yeah, I'm throwing a snag ball, bitch. One, two, three. Booyah! All these Pokemon early on are actually pretty easy to capture, and if you paralyze them and get them down to at least half, they're pretty easy to catch. There are some boss Pokemon that might need a bit more for snagging. Uh, next up, we're gonna fight Perp Six. Uh, switch out to Clay because Perp Six uses poison types, and Clay is pretty good in that area. Or so why are you hiding those an antidotes from me? Anyway, Perp Six. He has uh, four Pokemon: a Coughing, a Grimer, a Tentacool, and a Gulpin. Uh, they're pretty easy. Coughing majors in defense. Grimer sorta of majors in special defense. Not a big deal. Um, Sidebeam coughing. Thundershock Grimer. Grimer's probably not gonna go down in one hit, but uh, coughing will. Boom! <laughs> Boom! And here's his tentacle. Um. Yeah. Cause uh, Amp is also super effective against the tentacle. Like, Thundershock is also super effective against Tentacool. I figured that since Clay could actually knock it out in one hit as well. There's Shadow Sculpin. What's a scouter say about his power level? It's over 17! What? 17? Why are you overreacting? Yeah, there goes Tentacool. Alright, um. Amp, you will use, uh, let's see, okay, Mudslap's good here, Thunder Wave. Bzzz. 
Mud slap. Yeah! See, so it doesn't look like he's slapping the mud. It seems like he's spinning the mud. Ha! Okay, Shadow Hold. I don't know if, I, if this has shown up yet, but Shadow Hold prevents you from escaping. It's pretty much a mean look for both of your uh, Pokemon. Or the target Pokemon, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try something stupid and throw a Pokeball. This is probably not gonna catch it, though. If it does, I'll be, su I'll be surprised. Oop! Oop! One, two, three! Oh! Alright, let's slap it again. I don't really want to use Body Slam on this because I'm afraid I might knock it out. Uh, Shadow Blitz. Rah! You just got hit by Green Sludge, Ball Toy. Clay, whatever. Yeah, I'm not taking the risk. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna attack on the amp. I'm just gonna heal. Alright, Clay, Mud Slap. Alright, that should be good enough. Yeah. No more attacking for you. Uh, I'm gonna call you just to raise your accuracy a little, even though there probably aren't any moves. Right, there aren't any. Alright, snag ball go. One, two, three. Yeah! That was my first failed first attempt to catch the Pokemon. I think I know why, because I was being an idiot. Uh -huh. Belly flop. You're just a brat. Why are you so strong? I don't know. I got red hair. That's probably why. Alright. Um. Next up is Greasex. He uses grass and... He uses grass types with one bug type. Uh, let's just switch out Ursa because he needs the exper she needs the experience. I'll take you on my six-fold power. Not only is he part of the Hexagon Brothers, being six uh, uh, hack tuplets or whatever, he has six Pokemon: Oddish, Cacnea, Shroomish, um, Pineco, and oh crap! Uh, oh yeah, Lotad and Shadow C Dot. Derp. Oh, that was my fault. Why am I? Oh yeah. Kind of lost track of what I was gonna say. What? I was gonna say why is Amp out? It's not good against grass types. Then I remembered it has Thunder Wave. Anyway, Ursa got a level. There's a Shroomish. Go, Ursa, return with all you can. It's a good thing that all of his Pokemon, except for one, hold on, except for one, um, it, are below level 10. With the exception of a C dot. Look at Lotad, it's only level 8. Don't make effects work kick, kick in, don't make effects work kick in, don't make effects work kick in, kick in don't make effects work kick in, don't, if, okay. okay. Oof. There's just Pineco, his only bug type Pokemon. What the? Where? And here comes his shadow Pokemon, Shadow C Dot. There it is. Oh my God! It's over seventeen again. Uh, C dot's actually if you, once you evolve it all the way, it's actually pretty useful. Um, that's not to say that it, it's good, like it's not great, but if you need a grass type, it's all right. Not as a C dot when it gets to a Nuzly for a, a shift tree. It's also a pretty good dark type. You, you. Horn drill! Ah, I can call it better than you can, Grease 6. And no, not G6. 
He's not like a G6. I'm taking an extreme risk here. Because if Ursa, uh, if Ursa knocks it out with Lick, I know it's kind of uh, a stretch, but if it does in fact happen... Oy! Okay. Alright, I'm catching you this turn. Hmm. I actually like how in this game your character um, reacts to your Pokemon getting hit, as well as um, the opponent doing so. I mean, I love that little that they added that little touch to it. One, two, three, and I got gotcha. you. See, that's got a pretty low catch rate, and that makes it pretty easy to catch any either either. Even without the um, paral paralysis status. Anyway, that's all the Hexagon Brothers. They had six Shadow Pokemon, and I snagged them all. If you want to get 100%, you have to um, face those guys and snag their Shadow Pokemon. This would like to heal the Pokemon healing machine. Do 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 do. I uh, kind of want to see if there are any. Uh, if I want to switch out anyone. Uh, how's Houndour? Okay, it's got pretty good special attack. I don't even know if Shadow Moves are physical or special, so... Um... I kinda wanna switch out to Ursa, but... Hmm. Sphere, better in special attack. It wasn't really doing that much damage with Shadow Wave. Uh... Didn't even say that it's physical or special. Gulpin did barely anything. CDOT didn't do anything either. It actually did the same as almost similar to Sfeel, so I guess I guess Shadow Moves are physical. But um, since we're done with that, I guess that'll be the end of this part of Pokemon XD. Uh, come back next time for more. We're going to be progressing through the Shadow Pokemon Lab. I might be speeding some of it up, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this part. This is Woody Geek, and I'm out.